A good morning to you, George. How are you? Morning, Rokas. I'm good. How are you? Great, thank you. So I know it's 8 a.m. for you in Australia. So it is. I appreciate you taking time out of your morning to join me here for an interview. No, you're welcome. Nice, happy to be here. So in your case, you were recommended by the Amazon FBA professor because your company makes up to $80,000 in revenue per month. Is that correct? Yeah, plus or minus, yeah. There's good, bad, there's good months, bad months, yeah. That's really awesome. Congratulations. Oh, uh, could you. you go into that more? How did that begin? How did that scale? Well, um, it just started by learning, learning as much as I can about, um, about Amazon FBA, wholesale in particular. So I do wholesale. Um, improving my knowledge base and learning as much as I can. Um, you start off slow. Um, you should you shouldn't invest too much money until you're comfortable. So, you know maybe a th- you know start off with five hundred dollars. See how it goes. See if you can scale it. When when you're comfortable with the business model and that you can continue it, that's maybe time to invest further and go a bit deeper into it, and then slowly build off that. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to scale to this point? Well, to be honest, when I first started, I knew practically nothing. I was making some of the biggest rookie mistakes. Um, so I was making a lot of mistakes. And then within about a six month time frame, um, I felt comfortable that I could invest more and, and, and um, you know, really build a business. Before that, I was just, it was just, you know, just testing things out, learning. Could you name one of the biggest mistakes you made when you were first starting off? Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, so the, there's a basically there's a, a seller rank system in Amazon where um, each product is, is ranked from one to whatever million. So the number one being the fastest selling product, a million being a very bad product. So uh, I, I saw the number one million and I thought it sells a lot, and I bought a lot of pieces of something that never sells. I'm like, so that was like the biggest rookie mistake that I've ever made, you know, by putting a lot of money into a product that sells, you know, maybe one unit every six months. <laughs> mm-hmm. So these mistakes, you know, for, for people that don't know, you can make them, but you know, that's why uh, I try to educate people and, and teach them, you know, what everything means. Right. And then to clarify, you built all this up before joining the real world, correct? Correct. Correct. Yeah. So I, I was already doing, um, you know, uh, my, my, I've been working on Amazon, um, uh, Amazon FBA wholesale for uh, almost five years. So um, yeah, I have, a, I have a fair amount of experience prior to um, to joining the real world, and um, yeah, so I've been building it up for a while. And with all the experience, what still brings you to the real world? What about it? Well, yeah, for sure. Look, I, I saw a lot of videos online on, on the, um, you know, many different methods of making money. I, I was very interested to see what they would have been. Um, so I thought, you know, uh, it's only a 50 a month. I'm like, oh, that's, that's cheap. Like I can just jump in, have a look at it and see what it's about. And if I'm, if I don't like it, fair enough, I'll leave. If I do, I'll stay. And I jumped in and I was actually quite surprised. There's some real good courses. They're like, I, I really think it's very high value for money, to be honest. For in, in terms of what they're offering, people can gather so much information, learn so many things um, for a very, very minimal amount of money. You know, like I, I've seen other courses out there for Am- just Amazon alone, which are like two and three thousand um, dollars. Where you know this, it's it's Amazon and another, I don't know, 15, 17 other different. Um, you know, money making methods. I'm not saying anyone can do them all. You can't do them all because there's too many of them. But you know, so many different methods, and it's just fifty a month. You know, you can gather all that information, and when you're happy, you know, that's you know, that's it. It's fifty a month. But there's also the community in there, and people teach each other, and they learn off each other. So it's real good. Mm-hmm. And then going more in depth on the community aspect, how did that affect you? Well, there's a very good community in there, to be honest. Like, there's a like there's a lot of guys encouraging each other, um, uh, helping each other, and, and and just spreading the knowledge around. Like, you know, whatever it, depending on whatever the course is or whichever um, whichever uh, you know uh, route you take, you know, in terms of what you want to learn, 
every forum and the, the the room like they apart from learning there's rooms where people teach each other things and then and, and people ask questions and um yeah you can instantly get a question answered by you know i, I help out and other other you know the professors help help out and people answer questions and, and really help each other out when you know, when there are when there are problems mm-hmm. and did it have any kind of impact on your mindset or were you very disciplined before joining well definitely look i'm a lot more focused i don't waste my time like i, I you know i'm either working my ass off you know 12 30 40 hours a day I'm either in the gym training, you know, um, I, I train a lot more these days, you know, I, I, I bump it up from two or three times a week up to five, six times a week. Um, and, and I spend, you know, more time with my family. I don't, I don't waste time anymore. You know, I spend time with my loved ones. So uh, I'm either working, you know, working my butt off training or spending quality time, you know, with the people I love. So I, I'm a lot more focused these days. Um, and and it, it has helped me um, because, you know, as people, we tend to waste a lot of time and we, you know, think, uh, you know, four, four hours on Netflix is nothing. No, it's, you're wasting, you know, uh, a, you know, a large percentage of your life. It is, it's not nothing, it's something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep. And for physicality, why did you go from two or three days a week to now? Like what caused that shift? Uh Look, I, I do I do genuinely believe um, you know a healthy mind a healthy body equals a healthy mind as well. Um, yeah, uh, I, I reckon it, it helps you perform better in, in both aspects. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, I'm Greek, and the ancient Greeks used to say things like, you know, uh, everything needs to be be good. You can't just have a, a good body and a, or a good mind. You need to have both, and, and they 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 strive for those ideals. You know. You know, great body, great mind, and you know, work in tandem. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. So, with all your experience in Amazon FBA, mm-hmm. are you still getting value out of the real world in terms of learning, or are you there to just more to teach other people? Look, occasionally there are some some gaps in my knowledge so i am learning a few things i definitely would but i, I really actually enjoy teaching um teaching uh, students a lot of things because there's there's so many students they have you know they have a lot of questions because obviously to under to fully understand um you know uh, amazon fba you have to have a lot either, either a lot of experience or uh, you know just constantly learning more and more so um uh, I enjoy, I really enjoy helping the students out and teaching them, you know, things that, that they have, might have questions on because, you know, there's just so many things to learn and um, without actually experiencing them, you can make some big mistakes. So, uh, you know, before they make the mistakes, uh, we can also, uh, you know, help out and teach them these things. Mm-hmm. Is it possible to make money with Amazon FBA without any prior experience? It is possible to make money uh, to make you know without experience, but obviously it's best to learn a few things because there's so many mistakes you can make. There's high potential to make a lot of money, but there's a lot of little mistakes you can make, and um, you know it, it, it's best to 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 know a few things before before starting. Mm-hmm. How much startup capital is required to get into Amazon FBA? Well, to be honest, not a lot. Um, to just start, you know, there's no minimum amount, but most suppliers will want, um, you know, a certain amount. Like they might have a minimum order of $500. Um, it, in order to get started, you can get started with a very small amount um, just to, to start learning. Um, but, you know, as your knowledge increases, you should probably invest a bit more to start if you want to start making serious money money that can actually affect your life you probably want to um spend some more money you know like depending on the country you live in and what what a good income is in that country um you know you might want to start with five ten thousand dollars you know when you want to when you feel very comfortable but to start out you can start out with five hundred dollars and slowly build that up and, and then be investing more and making more money so if someone was aiming to reach ten thousand dollars how much money do you think they'd need to put in initially to get that? Okay, so interesting question. So if they wanted to make $10,000 in revenue per month, 
um, for example. Firstly, they would need to buy enough products that will sell out within a month. Okay, so they need to they need to do the the uh, the, the appropriate product research to buy products that will sell out within a month. But assuming they have done that, um, basically, if you were to invest, um, a, like a, basically. Your your goal is ten thousand dollars. If you were to invest forty to forty five percent of that, so basically you know four four and a half thousand um, dollars, you'll be making probably ten thousand dollars in sales a month. That that is pretty much one of the general rules. So if for example you increase that to fifty thousand dollars, you know invest into products that will sell out within a month, you're probably doing one hundred and twenty, hundred you know one hundred ten, hundred twenty thousand dollars in sales a month. Okay, interesting, and. Again, considering all your experience, what were the three biggest lessons you learned from the real world? Three biggest lessons that I've learned. Um, so maintain focus is definitely one of the biggest ones. Um, a community can really help, you know, where people push each other. Um, they can really help. And, um, you know, when people can increase their knowledge, it, it, it really helps, you know, like increasing it as much as you can, because I've seen kids, you know, I've seen, I've seen students in the real world um, within a month making more than $10,000 a month. And that really impressed me. You know, uh, it, it took me a lot more time to make $10,000 a month and these students within a month are making it. And part of it is because of their attitude, but part of it is also because of the things that they've learned and, um, and then them applying it to um, to the to you know to Amazon. Mm -hmm. How do you see the real world impacting you in the next six months to one year? Mm. Well, um, look. Uh, apart from me helping out the students in the uh, Amazon um, section, I I have applied. I'll, I'll be applying the knowledge I'm learning in the digital marketing um, uh, uh, section to both my YouTube channel and to promote my, my software. So I, I see it impacting me quite a great deal, especially in the next six months. So I've already seen um, improvement, um, you know, in the social media side, but um, yeah, I, I definitely see, you know, I'm learning a lot of things in, in those courses and um, yeah, I, I, I see it helping me out quite a bit. Great. And to end off, where can people ever find out more about you or contact you? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel where I teach people um, uh, tips and strategies about Amazon and it's called The Remote Seller. You know, like, uh, you know, the fact that I'm remote, I'm, I live in Australia, so in the US, I'm a remote online seller, so it's The Remote Seller. Okay, I will add that to the description of the video. And George, really appreciate your time. Thank you for coming on. Happy to end it there. Thanks, Rocco. Wish, wish you all the best and goodbye.